Question. You have an application running in Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, with cluster autoscaling enabled. The application exposes a TCP endpoint. There are several replicas of this application. You have a compute engine instance in the same region, but in another virtual private cloud, VPC, called GCE network, that has no overlapping IP ranges with the first VPC. This instance needs to connect to the application on GKE. You want to minimize effort. What should you do? Option A1. In GKE, create a service of type load balancer that uses the application's pods as backend. 2. Set the service's external traffic policy to cluster. 3. Configure the compute engine instance to use the address of the load balancer that has been created. Option B1. In GKE, create a service of type node port that uses the application's pods as backend. 2. Create a compute engine instance called proxy with two network interfaces, one in each VPC. 3. Use IP tables on this instance to forward traffic from GCE network to the GKE nodes. 4. Configure the compute engine instance to use the address of proxy in GCE network as endpoint. Option C1. In GKE, create a service of type load balancer that uses the application's pods as backend. 2. Add an annotation to this service. cloud.google.com slash load dash balancer dash type colon internal 3. Peer the two VPCs together. 4. Configure the compute engine instance to use the address of the load balancer that has been created. Option D1. In GKE, create a service of type load balancer that uses the application's pods as backend. 2. Add a Cloud Armor security policy to the load balancer that whitelists the internal IPs of the MIG's instances. 3. Configure the compute engine instance to use the address of the load balancer that has been created. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. In answer A, what we are doing is deploying an internet-facing load balancer, because it is the default load balancer type that is deployed if we do not specify an internal one in the annotations, that is, with the possibility of being called from outside our VPC, and forcing the compute engine instance to go outside the Google network to be able to go back inside through the endpoint that we are publishing with the unicast IP of the balancer. Correct answer is option C. Answer C, however, performs a peering between the two VPCs, the statement makes sure that this option is feasible since it clearly specifies that there is no overlapping between the IP ranges of both VPCs. Deploy the load balancer as internal with the annotation, and configure the endpoint so that the compute engine instance can access the application internally, that is, without the need to have a public IP at any time and therefore, without the need to go outside the Google network. The traffic, therefore, never crosses the public internet. Correct answer is option C.